Alrighty, uh, we've got a pretty quick problem from an example that we've already done in the book, so we'll just attack it. The statement reads, find the vector potential above and below the plane surface current k equal k x hat flowing over the xy plane. Alright, let's redraw the scenario. So we have a sheet of current flowing in the xy plane and k is pointing in the x hat direction. Alright, so... Uh, the thing to note here is that above and below Z are where all the fun happen. So we can draw an Empyrean loop as we do in the diagram, and we can now evaluate this using Ampere's Law. Um, so we'll find a B field, which we see uh, from Ampere's Law is uh, 2BL equal mu naught KL. The L's cancel, so we divide by 2, and we see that B is equal to plus mu naught over 2K in the Y hat direction for z less than zero and negative for z greater than zero eventually we'll just put this in the absolute value brackets to take care of that and since we know that generally a is parallel or anti-parallel to k and depends only on z a is a function of z in the x hat direction all right so just like we did in the last question if we find the curl we can find a differential equation to solve since we already know the magnetic field all right, so again, it's kind of backwards, like how we use the electric field to find the electric potential, but the more tools we have, the better off we'll be. All right, so anyways, we do this. We evaluate the curl. You see it's a nasty cross product with the determinant. Um, we simplify it down. All the other components go to zero, and we're just left with something in the y hat direction, which is indeed what we should have based on the geometry we set that equal to the magnetic field and we solve for A by integrating with respect to Z. Clearly, we see that A is equal to negative mu naught K over 2 uh, with the absolute value Z. Again, it switches at uh, Z equals 0. Again, pointing in the X hat direction. And that's what we see graphed here with K and the magnetic potential. Um, again, since this is a derivative, this works, but this plus any constant will also work. So go back to differential equations and we see these results.